Hello and welcome. I'm Darnell from Shoemaker Art and today I'm going to hydro dip a bowling pin that has a glitter base. Glitter you see right there is Secret Opal. It's by the Glitter Guy. So here I'm applying a thin coat of Stone Coat Art Coat resin. You don't need very much. Um, this is an ounce, maybe less. You just need a real thin coat. You get too much on there and then your glitter will clump up. So I get a lot of questions about how I prepare my pens before I start working on them. So to prep my pens, I clean them real good with alcohol. You can use soap and water, but you will need to make sure that your pen is really good and dry before you move on to the next step. After I clean it, then I apply Zinser Bullseye 123 Primer. Any primer will work, but this stuff is good stuff. I get it at Lowe's and I do at least two coats, two liberal coats, sometimes three. So that's how I get it to this point before I start adding the resin. So here I am adding my glitter. By adding the glitter to the pen, it helps to fill in all those nicks and dents and it gives you a smoother surface. And the shimmer that's underneath the hydro dip is absolutely incredible. Once you have full coverage of the glitter, you're gonna let your pen dry overnight. So this wooden stand that you see here was made by my husband. It has a drill bit in it. <clears throat> Sorry, it has a drill bit mounted to it, and that's what the bowling pin is resting on. The design is similar to a tumbler turner without the motor. Before I had this made for me, I just used a dowel rod and I held it with my hand. It will make your hand really tired, but you can do it that way. is on a bowling league and he approached me about painting up a few of them for his Thursday night league to give out his 50-50 drawings gifts and so I pour painted on the first two that I did and they came out really good and so then I started getting a few orders where they wanted their names on them so we personalized them and um, then I started getting a few more orders and so I I wanted to see what else I could do with them so I started adding glitter and using resin and um, hydro dipping and I've done probably about 20 now and they've just they went over really well so I just wanted to share with you um, my journey a little bit and show you the possibilities are just endless Look how pretty that turned out with just the glitter on it. I applied two coats of the Krylon Clear Glaze, but you can use any sealer that is water-based. 
You want to seal in that glitter so it doesn't come off or move around when you add the resin next. Let your sealer dry at least 24 hours before applying the resin, which is the next step. So I put my stand upright and I'm adding a liberal coat of resin. I used around three ounces total. I have a lot more in that in my cup, but I was also resining a couple of vases that I had and a few tumblers. But make sure to go slow and get full coverage when you're putting it on. You can usually tell when you missed a spot by running your hand down the side and you'll feel resistance. Now you're going to get drips at the bottom of your pen and one way you can handle that is you can go in and check on it for a couple of hours and wipe them off until it hardens up or you can sand them off at the end and that's what I did. Make sure that you wear a respirator when you're working with resin. I let my resin cure for a week before I moved on to the next step of hydro dipping. So now for the fun part. I have a five gallon bucket of room temperature water. I wouldn't use anything smaller than a five gallon bucket for this bowling pin because you won't get full coverage. It's pretty tall. I am using Easy Marble, which is an oil-based product. Uh, my colors are clear and then turquoise. Azure blue, metallic blue, and white. So to be able to dip the pin into the water, I took a dowel rod and I applied enough electrical tape to it that it fits snugly into the bottom of the bowling pin. Um, at the end when you need it to come out, it will come out, but you want it snug enough that the pin doesn't slip off when you dunk it down into the water. I have had that happen to me before. <laughs> So here I am adding my colors. I do use the clear so you can see the glitter base through it. I bought this paint online from Mr. Nola's Glitter. It's the easy marble. Use the dowel rod to swirl around the paint and attach it to the side. I dip my pen in slowly and twisted mine because I like that look. Once it's fully submerged, you want to wipe the surface of your water off with a paper towel quickly. You don't want to pick up the paint when you're pulling the bowling pin back up. Dab with a paper towel the water spots. I see I didn't get quite full coverage here, but with the glitter base, I don't mind. I actually like it.
Set your pan up to dry. I let mine dry 24 hours before moving on to the next step. Since the Easy Marble is oil-based, I need to seal the pin so I can coat with resin next. I use Mod Podge, which is water-based. I have used the glossy and the matte also with the same results. You want to apply a good coat of the Mod Podge and get full coverage. On the first couple steps, sometimes your glue will separate as you can see here, but after a couple coats where they've dried in between of your Mod Podge, it won't do that. I let my pen dry at, at least two hours before I add my next coat. And by putting the Mod Podge on, it's gonna dry dull. But when you finish it off with resin, the shine and the brightness will come back. So now I'm putting on a second coat of the Mod Podge. I ended up putting on three coats on this pen to be safe. I wanted to make sure it was good and sealed. You can already see that it's going on better and not separating as much. Okay, I let the Mod Podge dry for 24 hours, and lastly, to finish up the pen, I'm adding a coat of resin. I didn't need as much resin this time. I used about an ounce and a half. I let the pen cure for a couple days after the resin dried, and then I sanded off the drips on the bottom.
all complete. I'm loving how this looks. The colors are so bright and with the glitter base, it just pops. You can even see the glitter under the colors. I love making these and I hope that you enjoyed and I hope that you try making one yourself. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.